Welcome to the HTML Learning Series. I'm Marty Baker. This video covers the basics of HTML5. In this video, you'll learn basic definitions, HTML, tags, elements, attributes, some more definitions, the difference between container and empty elements. You'll be looking at some example code, the minimum re elements required for HTML5, best practices, what you need to do to be a good coder, I'll talk about what you need to take away from this video. I'll give you some more resources and links. And finally, some next steps and a code challenge. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Developer use tags, elements, and attributes to organize and display the text forms, tables, and multimedia of a web page. Tags and elements are defined by the W3C in their standards. A tag consists of a less than symbol, the tag name, and a greater than symbol. An element combines all of the all of the features of a tag, but adds a closing tag. Together they make an element. That closing tag is a less than symbol, a slash, the tag name, and a greater than symbol. Additionally, elements can have attributes. Attribute further defines what the element needs to do or how it is going to affect the look of the page. An attribute is only noted within the opening element or tag, and it's simply the attribute name, an equal sign, and the value. The value must always be enclosed in quotation marks. Let's look at a couple more definitions before we move on to some example code. All tags can be categorized into two areas, container elements and empty elements. Container elements surround the text or information that they will affect. Empty elements, on the other hand, insert something such as an image or a line break into your page. You do not close empty elements. They have a less than, the element name, the attribute, if appropriate, equal to whatever value, and then a greater than symbol. Every HTML document has a set of required elements that must be present in order for it to be valid and meet the W3C standards. So let's take a look at some example code and those minimum elements. I'm going to be using Notepad++ in this case. The first element that you're going to have is called a doc type, and it is information to the browser about what type or what standard of HTML you are using. For HTML5, it's just HTML. The second element is the actual HTML element. It is a container element, and it is the root element of your HTML5 document. So you open it up with HTML, and HTML has a language attribute. And in our case, I'm going to use EN for English. And because it's a root, it also has a closing element. It's good practice to go ahead and close your container elements as soon as you open them. HTML has two children elements. These are both required and they are head and body. Let's look at the head. Again, just an opening element and to be a good programmer, close it. The head element is a container element and it itself has two children that are required within every HTML5 document. The first of the two ch children is a meta element. The meta element defines the character set or character group that is being used in creating the document. In this case, and in most often seen, it is UTF-8. So we use the attribute char set equal quote to UTF-8. For those geeks out there, the U in UTF-8 comes from universal coding character set and the TF comes from transformation format. And finally, the 8 tells the browser that it should use an 8-bit code unit. If the techie in you wants to know more, a great article that you could read. It's the absolute minimum every software developer absolutely, positively must know about Unicode and character sets. No excuses. This is by Joe Splosky. It's a great article. And you can find it at http colon slash slash www.joel 
onsoftware.com slash articles slash unicode dot html. The second child element of the head section of your document is a title. And it is a container element, so we'll open and close it at the same time. Many developers look overlook the importance of the title element. Title is what is saved as the name of a bookmark or a favorite. The title is used by search engines such as Google and Bing to label and begin the index of your pages in their databases. And the title is what is displayed in the browser on a tab. Always make the titles relative to the information on the page. In this case, I'm going to put in a title of minimum HTML5 elements. I'll save that in just a moment. The second child element of the HTML root element is the body. Within the body, is all the information, text, graphics that you want to be displayed to your end user. Remember, this is the visible area of your page. And while this is not required, this is a good place to talk to you quickly about HTML comments. HTML comments start out with a less than, an exclamation mark, dash dash, and end with dash dash greater than. Any invisible information that you you want can go here. Use comments to document your pages. Help the person that's coming behind you. Again, the basic elements that are required in an HTML5 document are the doc type, the HTML open and close head open and close. The meta element, and you should be able to tell by looking at that, that's an empty element. The title, open and close. And the body, open and close. Let's talk a little bit about best practices, being a good coder. Any container element that spans more than one line and has child elements the child elements should be indented within the parent element. Good comments within a code. Make sure that the person after you understands what you were trying to do. And again, close container elements as soon as you open them. What should you remember after watching the basic HTML5 video? Well, you should understand that HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. You should understand the definitions of a tag, an element, and an attribute. You should be able to define container and empty elements. And you should know the minimum required elements of HTML5. In using HTML5, you should be able to create a basic HTML5 web page template. You should be able to identify the different parts of an HTML5 page. You should understand the importance of the title element. Not with this one because it's a little hard. We haven't put anything in the body but be sure and test your code in all major browsers. So here's some additional resources for you. I always give those from print or ebooks. Um, not that you are, but always great series of books. HTML and CSS3 for Dummies by David Carlins. HTML5 e-learning kit for Dummies by Frank Fofri. And Chapter 2 in The Truth About Basic HTML. Web page: The Truth About HTML by Luke Stevens and R.J. Owen. So a couple of links too for you to learn a little bit more about HTML and CSS3 fundamental development for the absolute beginner. And there is the URL. And one of my favorites always is W3 Schools HTML5 Introduction. What you should do after watching this video is create a template that uses the minimum five HTML elements. And my code challenge is create a web page with basic text within the body section of an HTML document. And if you need any additional help, be sure to ask your instructor or mentor. Thanks for watching, and in our next video, you'll be looking at the elements and tags used to organize text within a web page.